this is your last call if you guys don't know we usually look at the end of the week for what is up for eight to one banshees are in ever first in that order so that way you guys are aware of what's leaving so this one's going to be a little bit faster because it's currently two o'clock monday which for those of you well, why does that matter I would usually have posted this yesterday. Unfortunately, my friend showed me a new game on my phone and I played all of that for a long time, which is not good. So we're not going to be talking a lot in this video and don't expect that to be the new norm. This is just going to be for today. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Other than that, uh, Rasmussen clan. I talked about this one. Um, Rasmussen's probably the worst shader um, and the red one as well because of the yellow color. Uh, we have new Pacifica sync. War Cult Camo. And then for the armor, it's going to be the Fallen Armor, which I'll just give you some time to look at it real quick. As for Banshee, we have Memory Interdict with Calm Cartridge and Wellspring. Peace of Mind with Sats for All and Drelin Junkie. Uh, Perseus uh, D with Shoot to Loot and Headstone. Hand in Hand with Hip Fire Grip and one, one Two Punch. And then funnel web with perpetual motion and focus focus fury <clears throat> um i might as well talk look uh, so let's talk about um the fact that i was playing a game and i completely lost track of time and went fell asleep at five the other thing is i'm currently playing world of warcraft because the anniversary event is on and because it's just more fun to play that with friends um and there's a other things i'll probably talk about it at the end of the video real quick um for Zer, we have darcy catalyst and mighty multi-tool and i didn't talk about this last week but the sir the Zer board zerf board which is not loading for some reason well either way uh you can buy it for 97 strange coin it is a a skimmer so that is really cool i hope i wish i could show you how it looks because it does look pretty cool but if you don't have a uh what is it called again uh, zimmer whatever if you don't have one these, these are super super fun to be play with um for the exotics we have quiz invest with some pretty terrible rolls and wins in itself is just trash uh dune marchers with too high mobility and then promethean spur with way too high mobility so let's actually check <clears throat> what we have so hawkman with hit fire grip Cerberus plus one which is one of my favorite weapons especially with the catalyst trinity ghoul and the Wardcliff Coil. For the weapons, we have Cold Denial with Zenmoin and Headseeker, Nature of the Beast with Under Under Pressure and Demo, Arsenic Bite with Moving Target and Explosive Payload, Seven Seraph with Auto Loading Holster and Shield Disorient, uh, Sail Spy with Pitch Glass with Clown Cartridge and Focus Fury. That's not bad actually, just in case. And then Quick Fang. So this is a red border weapon if you guys are interested. And for the armor, I'll just show you all their armor right now instead of just talking about it <clears throat> as for the roles i have them up right now um while i go do other stuff because we gotta go uh, look at eververse so yeah this is a lot faster than i usually do just because i do yap a lot but that kind of my whole thing is i explain the things i give you my opinions on it if you guys don't like it i mean depending on how this video does we'll we'll see but usually these videos do really well so it would have to do like stupidly good um for the store we have argent Territorn. i haven't made a video on this i'll have it up right now if i can remember but that is the old version because the old version didn't have a lot of the red or the like silver red that it has now so it is different but if you guys want to see the difference between how it used to look compared to now definitely check it out because they butchered this shader uh died finality <clears throat> and then vex incursion entrance for the transmat effect you have unchained And then for this, so the Assassin's Creed pieces, which I'll just show you all of them right now. Um, I will be posting this probably after this video because I'm definitely going to make this one first. So that way people get more eyes on this one because the other one's cool. Like I really like the Assassin's Creed sets that I made, but I do think the other one's more important because, uh, or this one's more important because this one's showcasing everything. So 
yeah i love this cloak this is one of my favorite cloaks it's actually this is the set that i used with that uh which is fun funny <laughs> it's, it's funny because i currently have the assassin's creed class item sets for all like for all the classes but this is the hunter and yeah this is if you guys have been following me for a while this is the set that i use for the lightfall uh, campaign um titans let me see let me see titans your mark is really cool i actually really really do like it um i really need to start playing this game again because uh i need to start unlocking some stuff because i'm running out of videos <laughs> but yeah if you want a viking set this is going to be the piece you want and remember uh i don't think uh oh no uh i don't think uh eververse has ever sold a um a collab set for bright dust ever so definitely definitely get into that because it is really really cool and then eagles bond i actually make it a pretty cool set with this that being said it's a set that i've made for another set so it's just kind of like taking a, a set that I've already made and slapping this on it. So some people might call that a, a, um, a, an easy way out, but I mean, it is like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, raised voices for choir of one, which I want to pick it up because it's cool, but I don't even use this anymore. So I'm just kind of like, do I just want to get it from a bright and in bright Ingram drop or, or I don't know, red veteran which is the Cade 6. Uh, be aware the red does not change color. The Alpha Zulu, which I, I'm still thinking about getting just because it does look bitchin'. But each class, well, each, I was going to say each class has their own like Sparrow, Ghost, and Ship that I usually always put on them. Um, like the Hunter has like some old, like old D, D1 stuff. And um, I think it uh fallen themed stuff as well so i usually like just go through that but this would be good for, cool for like a tactical set which is why i'm like wanting to get it but 2000 oh no no never mind caramel shell jaunty dance i really want to skip these all the time dude birthday cake because i don't give a fuck about emotes bro like if you like emotes that's cool on you i just don't give a slight shit about them virtuous entrance Nightmare Emergence. And then Vex Arrival. For the Shaders, we have Boreal Char. Iridescent Coral. Verdigris. And then Sunrise Warrior. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. This was a lot faster than usual. I mean, to be fair, it's I think it should be like around eight minutes right now. Uh, I'm going to be working on a few things. Uh, I'm currently working on the exotic ornaments videos. I'm going to probably be editing that all day today. So that way I can ooh, excuse me, post it tomorrow. So that way I have some content uh, up until I think Wednesday or Thursday. And then from there, I'm probably going to be playing. Oh, wait, I think Halloween's this week, right? <clears throat> the uh, the the event for us. If it is, then I mean, I have content because I'll be getting the armor. And then the armor will be doing uh, the review video, the shader video, plus the uh, specific videos. I want to do some other videos as well. I want to review the actual weapon and I want to do the um, there's a few things I've been wanting to talk about for events for a while, which is just events kind of suck in Destiny 2. I'm going to be honest with y'all like right now in World of Warcraft, they have the anniversary event and it's a lot of fun. Well, to be fair, I know a lot of people don't like it because it is a lot of work, but it's an anniversary event with like new armor sets for each of the classes there's a lot of class even the classes that weren't available at that time they made new armor sets for there's also like old mounts that you can get from previous uh anniversary events like this anniversary event is fucking huge it's crazy and destiny 2's of like anniversary event that their 10 year anniversary event was just uh mind-bogglingly bad like you we get a title and we get an armor set for each class, which is it's I I, I think I, a lot of the pieces are really cool, but I would be lying to you if I said they weren't boring as fuck because they are from Destiny one. They weren't even in game. They were like, uh, what is it? Um, they were like uh, design, not design. Yeah, designs that they were they weren't used. So I don't know. Um, it's hard to not look at WoW's anniversary event and then look at Destiny 2's and just be like, did you guys even try? Uh, I also want to talk about a few things about Destiny 2 because uh, 
quite frankly, I'm kind of losing interest in Destiny 2. Not just like playing it, but just kind of like covering it as well. Like, not saying I've covered everything in the fashion. It's just kind of like, uh, I don't really care anymore. Especially since like, there's other games like World of Warcraft. Their fashion game just stepped up because now when you get armor from any source, uh, depending, like, let's say, for example, I'm a Fury Warrior and they they only wear plate armor. If I get cloth or leather or anything like that from an another source, it still unlocks for my characters everywhere else. So like if I have a rogue that got a plate armor, my warrior will actually be able to transmog that. So yeah, getting new fashion for just every class now is going to be obscenely easy because now I just don't have to worry about running it on that specific class to get that armor set. Now, if I get it, I get it. Um, Final Fantasy 14, that, their fashion is probably the best fashion in gaming for me personally well that's 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 a good that's a big title considering warframe also has really good fashion but their fashion's a bit different i do want to cover the fashion each in each game and to the point where like it's basically going to be called like how i fashion in this game which is going to be like how i fashion in world of warcraft and then i want to do like a big comparison video because i do think destiny 2's is really good it's not the best though it's not even like it doesn't even win like any place because i think World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, and uh, Warframe all have big strengths compared to Destiny 2. So let me know what you guys think. I, I apologize that I wanted to make it fast, but at the end, talked a lot. But I did want to explain a few things. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later. <clears throat>